Welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people from the Android community. I'm Tuki Chan, and today we are speaking with Elisa Caperogianis. Hi, Elisa. Hi. Nice to be here. Yeah. Um, where are you based? What do you do? And how do you get started on Android? Well, I am based in Amsterdam, and I work for that company named Pixplicity. Mm -hmm. We are a um, creative studio, a mobile studio. Mm -hmm. And of course, we make apps. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and I started with Android uh, more like accidentally. So oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what happened? Yeah. You my, fell into my, Android? My, <laughs> my studies were robotics engineering. Oh, that's a different kind of Android. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Robotics. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there was uh, a Dacity's course from Google, and mm -hmm. I won a scholarship from that. Oh. Okay. And I had some experiencing with Java before, but never actually did dive into Android. Android? Okay. Yeah. So I started like this. Oh, and then you realized that, you know what, I don't like robotics then, anymore. Then, I'm going to do yeah. Android development. Yes, that, that, was, that was perfectly that, yes. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> welcome to the Android community. We're glad to have you. Um, so both Eliza and I are at Berlin for Joycon yes. Berlin, which is really exciting. And uh, she's going to give a talk on an animation. So I thought, you know, maybe today we can get a highlight or two, not the whole talk, just something you think that is the most exciting in your talk. Yeah. So yeah. first of all, it will be, it will also include about the physics-based animations, okay. which is the new animation API that Google introduced in mm -hmm. the Google I.O. Okay. And it's, it's really cool because uh, you can give uh, feedback to your users and you can use the velocity that the, fig the, the feedback that they are using, mm. uh, you can use for their so what's the difference well, from the experience. existing? Um, so the way I've done animation so far is I specify uh, duration and then maybe like start point, end point if it's like a transition. Yeah, the, the thing is that uh -huh. you cannot uh, see. So I swipe like this and you swipe like this. Right. But you cannot just give feedback to your user how fast they are scrolling. It's oh. something that you have. There, it's it's a uh, constant there. I see. You cannot change that. You couldn't change that till now. Right. But now you can actually say, oh, like, the, the user scrolls like this, so this is the velocity that you yeah, follow. Yeah, I think I try to do that where I try to follow the user, but since I cannot specify the velocity, I do a lot of math to figure yes. out what is the duration. Yeah. Um, and then, well, of course, I now have to pick the right um, interpolator so that it continues the motion. So you're mm -hmm. saying that in the new library, you can have a more intuitive way of it's, continuing it's, the user's yes, motion. Yes, and it's very, very easy to use. And yeah, you, you don't have to do all the math by yourself. Great. <laughs> um, do you have any kind of example, maybe in the talk, that uh, is like a good candidate for using the um, new animation? Yeah, like the bottom navigation doors, for example. OK. Um, so you have the bottom sits, and you have to mm -hmm. your user scrolling up. Uh -huh. So the velocity of that is nice. The, 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 you can use ah. the user's motion. Yeah, because they that. use their finger to open it. Yes. And then when they lift, you want the draw to continue going smoothly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you, OK. You want it to be like, oh, pop. That's nice. Right. Great. Um, is there something else that is also interesting? Yeah, uh, the transitions. Oh, OK. So there is so What's many. What's new about transition? Yes, yes. It's, there's the activity translation, layout <laughs> translation. Like, what are we talking about? Yeah, yeah, so it's not something new, okay. um, but it's something that you can do so much cool stuff about oh, this. Oh, tell me about the cool stuff. <laughs> I like cool so, stuff. Yeah, well, my favorite thing in the transitions is that you can have shared elements between the screens. Right. And you can have a very smooth animation between the transition of the either fragments or activities or whatever. Okay. So you can actually, yeah, instead of popping screens, you can use this. Yeah. So the classic example I know about that is if you have, for example, a gallery of images, and then yes. you click on it, and then it goes yes. to the next activity, and then it expands from there rather than just jump over. Yeah, but okay. how many apps do you know that they are actually doing that? Clap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the ones from Google? Yeah, the yeah. ones from Google. <laughs> do you have any idea why people don't do that, though? I mean, is it difficult? Um, is it like, for yeah. my previous talks, I thought that people are not that familiar with that. Ah. And also, what I found really difficult with starting with animations, because I, yeah, we all started from somewhere, right. that it was not animations for me. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was just sitting in my office one day, mm -hmm. quietly, nicely, and right. the director came to me and he was like, oh, you see that? I want that to be sexy. And I was like, 
Okay, how? I, I can address it if you yeah. want to, but that won't help, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> so a couple of jokes later, mm -hmm. uh, we we said that we should use animations for that. Yeah. So I guess that's an interesting, of like general question, which is for me as a developer, I tend to focus on the functionality. And animation, yes. I don't think about it at all. But do you have any tips on like how do we, like for example, we came to your talk, we know that it's possible, but like how do we remember that next time when we implement yes, a feature so that to consider animations? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the main reason that I'm having that talk. Right. Because I thought at first that it was really difficult. And it was a bit difficult because you don't know what API you should use for right. which animation. So yeah. you, you have, oh, I have transitions, and then I have animations, and then I have animators, and they're like, okay, yes. where do I use all this? Yes, like, yes. how do I use all this? Uh -huh. So I'm just giving examples or for best practices for when do you use that some, oh, some, great. some APIs, yeah. and also when not to use some APIs. Oh, that's important yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we have a little menu to choose from. Oh, if I want this, then I order this. If I want this. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a great starting point. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Um, thank you so much for talking with me. And uh, if people want to follow you, uh, where can they find you on the internet? Yeah, it's Elisa Cumber at okay. the Twitter. Okay. I'm quite cool. active there. And I started using Medium as well. Oh, great. Cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we <laughs> include those links in the show notes. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.